Good morning. This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Marmo. See ya. What is it you seek, my child? We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love, that they might have a hint of eternity. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Are you prepared, then, to help bring the light across this land? The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Mara has reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. The village of Iverstead. The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Hmm? This temple is dedicated to Mara, and the light of love she shines on us all. I'm only a humble acolyte, though. If you wish to avail yourself of Mara's blessing, you should speak with Denya Balu or Marma. Good day. Yes? Yes? I'm right behind you. Lead on. Yes? Lady Mara bids you welcome to her benef- Mara is the handmaiden of Kine, the goddess of the storm and the mother of men. She is the bearer of love and the patron of marriage. If you wish to make a donation to her benevolence, speak to Maramal and ensure your true love will endure for all eternity. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Hmm? Good day. Need something? Heard they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire. Something. 
Are you the one sent by Mara? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. And I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards. And my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. My mother's not any help either. I don't want to choose. They're both so amazing. I've got your back. All right, what is it? What do you need? Still need me to do something? I'm right behind you. I am at your command. Let's get going then. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. No other reason. To Honest pay for honest work. Honest pay for honest work. It's frightening living below their monastery. Sometimes I swear I can hear strange noises rolling down from up there. It sounds like thunder, but there's never any rain. What do you make of that? Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had our problems. I don't tell my husband, but I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastra to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Bassianus is still so terrified of Yolfthor. If he knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastra to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. You're that one from the college. Learn about you. They call it the path to the monastery to 7,000 steps. Can you imagine? I'm not certain if I could even make it to the top without collapsing from exhaustion. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Klimek. Wouldn't stop talking about him. Now, if I thought she was really in love with Bassianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. The folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He needs some convincing. A little push and this would all be simpler. Just get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone. You don't look like a pilgrim. Klimic brings food supplies up to them once every few weeks, when the weather permits it. Other than that, they seem like a quiet lot. Don't really know too much about them. Oh, my love. How I long to take her away from all of this. Why did Boti send you to me? I always had a feeling she liked me. More than that brute Yoththor, at least. Yoththor? What about him? He'll come after us, and it will be unpleasant. 
She would. If she's willing to deal with him, then everything would be all right. I'll... I'll go speak to Fastrid, post-haste. So, you could cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? Like the armored means light on your feet. Smart. <laughs> 